Greetings, everyone. Tonight, I am going to my Uncle Pat and Aunt Marie's wedding anniversary. I'm going to interview my Uncle Dave. Excuse me, I'm Daniel Solano. I'm making a video for Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat's party. Okay. You must be Uncle Dave. I am Dave, yes I am. <laughs> How do you know Pat and Marie? I have known Pat since we were in grade school at uh, St. Catharines and then St. Thomas. We were just talking about this. And then through high school at Central Catholic and now to St. Joe's. And I've known Marie since St. Joe's days. Great. Where Pat met her, actually. <laughs> Great. Would you like to say something to them for their anniversary? I would. I'd like to say happy anniversary. And I'm so glad you've made it this long. You've had a wonderful, wonderful life, a wonderful family. And I wish you all the best for the next 40 years. How about that? <laughs> Thanks. And have a nice evening, Uncle Dave. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Daniel Solano. I'm making a video for my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat's party. Okay, excuse me, I'm Daniel Solano. I'm making a video for my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat's party. What are your names? I'm Pooja. And I'm Pat. I'm Pat. And who's this? This is Maya. And this Hello, is Maya. Maya. How, how do you know Pat and Marie? They are my parents. And Maya and Laz. And her grandparents. And Maya's grandparents. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank Would you, you like to say something to them for their anniversary? Happy huh? anniversary, Mom and Dad. We love you. We, we hope it's a great, you. great, great night. And I hope this video is a treasure that you get for the rest of your life. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, guys. And have a nice evening. Thank, thank you. you. So much. I'm excited to see this. Thank you, Uncle Pat, how do you do you know Pat and Marie? I met Pat and Marie when there was no electricity in 1975 wow. at St. Joe's. That's how I know them. And would you like to say something to them for their anniversary? Yes, please. I'd like to tell God bless both of you. You're wonderful people with a strong family. And Pat, the over and under didn't have you making 40. So you beat the odds, brother, despite your bad foot. Thanks, Uncle Pat, and have a nice evening. Thanks, Dan. What are your names, ladies? Okay, I'm Trish. Hello, Trish. I'm Anne. Hello, Anne. And I've known Marie since I was 17 years old. Uh, we lived together after college, and we were in each other's weddings, and we're godparents to Megan, and we love them to death. They're the greatest couple in the world. And would you like to say something to them for their 40th anniversary? For their anniversary, for their 40th, we are here to celebrate it, and I've known them since Daniel and my David were 10 years old. So I've known them 20 years, 20 years, 20 years. <laughs> and I think Marie and Pat are the same as they did. Pat's just the hair yeah. color. And Pat still has the same personality. Take that for what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ladies, and have a nice evening. Hi, Deb. How do you know Pat and Marie? This is a happy ending. It's good. You want to? How about? He's making video for the. Um, sure. Hi, Marie and Pat. Happy 40th anniversary. Oh. How do you know Pat and Marie? And celebrating the same. It's fun. Would you like to say something to them for their anniversary? Yep. Thank you very much. Thanks, Deb, and have a nice evening. Hello, Patty. How do you know my uncle Pat and Aunt Marie? Nice to have us. Cheers to 40 years. 
how do you know he is how you know Patty? Oh, I live up the street. Well, that's of course. And I met them through the Robinsons. Wow. Would you like to say something to them for their an anniversary? I'm sorry? <clears throat> Would you like to say something to them for their anniversary? I was going to say 40 years and 40 more. Congratulations. Thanks, Patty. Have a nice evening. You too. Hey, happy anniversary. It's so wonderful to be near you both at the beach and at home. We love being your neighbors. And God bless and happy anniversary. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Hey, thanks, Sherry. Yeah. You're welcome, Daniel. Nicely done, Daniel. <laughs> what are your names, guys? My name, my name is Jamin. Hello, Jamin. I'm What's and I'm so Bush. Bush. Thanks, guys. So, how do you know Pat and Marie, guys? We know Pat and Marie because. Um, I was uh, best friends with their man. Yeah, that's how I met. Okay. And would you guys like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary? Yeah. Uh, it, it, would you like to say something for the 40th wedding anniversary? Um, I think it's really cool that um, they've been married longer than I've been alive. <laughs> uh, hey, go, 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 go. Go. Thanks, guys. Have a nice evening. Okay, that's great. Yeah, great. Nice. Hello, Bruce. Hi, how are you, Daniel? Great. How do you know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat? So, I got to know them because our second daughter, Kelly, went to school with Packy at uh, Episcopal. So, that's where we first made the connection. At around the same time, my son, Matt, became really good friends with Dan. Um, so we ended up becoming good friends with Maria and Pat. Would you like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary? Yes. Well, you know, we couldn't be happier for the two of them. They've raised three wonderful children. And we're so excited that they're having this party to celebrate because it's always good to celebrate events. And this is certainly an event worth celebrating. So congratulations. Thanks, Bruce. And have a nice evening. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? What are your names? I'm Maggie Hello, Maggie. And I'm Bob Gower. Uh, hi, Pat. I'm Bob. Bob. And Marie Gower. I'm Pat's cousin. Ma I'm Marie. Uh, how do you guys know, know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat? Well, Pat is my first cousin. My mother's her sister. And you, Bob? Well, I go with Mari, so wherever she goes is where I go. I am Bob and Mari's daughter, so that's how I know Pat. Well, would you like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary, guys? We want to say happy anniversary, and may they have 40 more. Great. Right. Happy anniversary, many more to come. Thanks, guys. Have a nice evening. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good job, Daniel. Uh, Daniel and Sienna, how do you guys both know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat? Well, Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat are my future in-laws. I've known Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat about the same time. My mom a little bit earlier than my dad. It's been about 29, almost 30 years. And I know them because they gave birth to me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary, guys? I'd love to. You, you can start. If Daniel and I are half as happy as Pat and Marie are, we'll be so lucky. And also, I'm just so excited to have them as my future mom and dad. Thanks, guys. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you, Daniel. Bye. Thanks. Mm, okay. Thank you. What are your names, guys? So I can hear you. You want our names? Yeah. So we're Matt, Amy, and Julia Emerly. Matt, Amy, and Julia. Yes. And how do you guys know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat. So, Pat and my mom's cousin. Right. And would you like to say something to them for their anniversary, uh, wedding, 40th wedding anniversary, guys? Oh, would you like to say something to them? Oh, yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a nice you. evening. Hello, Megan. Hi, Dan. How do you know um, Uncle Pat and Aunt Marie. They're my mom and dad. 
and would you like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary? I would say, thank goodness you got married or else I wouldn't be here. Th thanks. Thanks. Um, thanks, Megan. Have a, have a nice evening. Thank you. Tom, how do you know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat? I'm a neighbor. I live on one street over. So I have uh, known them since they've been here in Avalon and gotten together with them a few times. They're great people. Would you like to say something to them for their Absolutely. 40th wedding anniversary? Absolutely. Congratulations, Marie and Patrick. I'm glad you survived that fall last week, Pat. <laughs> Look what you would have missed. Congratulations on number 40. I'll see you in about another 40 years for number 80. Thanks, Tom. Have a nice evening. See ya. 40th. And uh, can Jack, we celebrate with you? Uh, how do you know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat? I know them. Uh, I know Pat for a long time. My wife's known them even longer. Uh, my wife used to live right behind them. Would you like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary? Yeah. We, we love you to pieces and we can't wait to celebrate with you. Thanks, Jack. Um, have a nice evening. Thank you. Hello, Greg. Hi, Michelle. How do you guys know my Uncle Pat and Aunt Marie? Uncle Pat and Aunt Marie are some of our oldest and dearest friends. Uncle Pat and I met while we were in college. And we met standing around a keg of beer. And we've been close friends ever since. Uh, you, Michelle? I met through Greg. And uh, became very dear friends with Pat and Marie. And we were readers in their wedding. Readers! Yeah. Readers. <laughs> readers. <laughs> ha, ha. Would you guys like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary? We would. Pat Marie, we love you dearly. We're so happy that you're celebrating this milestone. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Have a nice evening. ladies know my Aunt Marie and Uncle Pat? I, I met Aunt Marie, I knew her from college, and I knew her long before that um, through my cousin. And our children and have been friends, and our peers are friends, and we've been friends forever. Would you ladies like to say something to them for their 40th wedding anniversary so that I can hear you? Thanks, ladies. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Give a Yeah, Marie. 
And I was the best man, and he honored me the best man at Fat Marie's wedding. And that was June 1st, 1984. 40 years ago. So, you know, I actually saved my toast. This is a copy of the original. I saved my toast from, from that evening, which I'm gonna I'm gonna use with some a little bit of editing. Minor editing, but we'll we'll get to it. So, but first I wanted to set the stage of the wedding week. And the week before June 1st was really a tough week weather-wise. Lots of thunderstorms. We saw rainy forecast on Friday. But thankfully, on Friday afternoon, it was a beautiful day. The sun came out. It was just a gorgeous evening. Um, Marie was just a gorgeous bride. She was beautiful. Pat was, um, he was, he was clean. <laughs> and he was happy. Let me tell you, I never saw a more happier guy on, on, on Earth. Um, the, um, the, the, uh, the ceremony was at... Best man at Fat Marie's wedding. And that was June 1st, 1984. 40 years ago. So, you know, I actually saved my toast. This is a copy of the original. I saved my toast from, from that evening, which I'm gonna I'm gonna use with some a little bit of editing. Minor editing, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. So, but first I wanted to set the stage of the wedding week. And the week before June 1st was really a tough week weather-wise. Lots of thunderstorms. We saw rainy forecast on Friday. But thankfully, on Friday afternoon, it was a beautiful day. The sun came out. It was just a gorgeous evening. Um, Marie was just a gorgeous bride. She was beautiful. Yeah. Pat was, um, he was, he was clean. <laughs> and he was happy. Let me tell you, I never saw a more happier guy on the um, the, uh, the, uh, the ceremony was at Our, La Our Lady of Good Counsel. I mean, I but as Bree calls it, Our Lady of, of the Acme. Um, in Bryn Mawr. And Father McLean from St. Joe's president was the uh, did the ceremony, did a really great job. And Anna Ophelia sung like no one could, could ever sing. She was just fabulous. And as Bree says, has always said, Anna Ophelia had a great set of pipes. <laughs> and as Pat has said, he just loves that pipes ran in the family. <laughs> um, the, uh, the ceremony was at Apple Ford in, in Villanova, a really nice, spectacular setting. And I think it really set up for just a wonderful life that Pat and Marie have had together and will continue to have together. So I'm going to flip to my to the, my little uh, toast that I gave. It's short. It's short. So tonight we're proud to, uh, to salute two great people, Pat and Marie. I'm fortunate to know each other as close friends. As individuals, Pat and Marie have touched all of us in special ways. 
He's good. But what makes them so special are the qualities they exude and continue to develop as a couple. <laughs> Over the years that I've known Pat and Marie, they're over, they're ever building closeness. I was 25 years old. <laughs> and love has made them a sheer pleasure to be with. And that has continued over the last 40 years as they've developed, as their family has grown with Packy and Megan and, and Daniel and, and, um, the rest of them. Pooja and, and Pooja, <laughs> I'm sorry, and Deb and Maya and, and Sienna. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I love you both, but, but we also know that everyone likes Marie a little bit better. <laughs> And we really wish you and your wonderful family happiness the rest of the years. Now, I have one final toast. And I want to raise a toast. To the, I want to raise a toast to the four people that had the most to do to put these two, two great people together. Marie and Pat's parents. Anthony and Eugenia and Joe and Anthony and Eugenia Tarico and Joe and Mary McCormick. They're very proud parents tonight. So, salute to everyone. It was even easier because I've had both in my parents and, and her parents two examples of what a loving, long-term, best friend relationship can look like. Um, and that's the relationship that my parents have, I guess now for 40 years, put on display. Um, and we could not be luckier uh, to, to call you mom and dad. And we love you. Aww. Megan. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> So yeah, good. Megan. Okay, are you are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I I have as like Daniel said the privilege of calling these two my parents, and I think we have a a very unique upbringing. When <laughs> I think um, some of my friends are like, wow, Megan, like you talk about work all the time. You're obsessed with your work. All you do is talk about work. And it was because the dinner table conversations from this one was talking about systems change, and from this one, it's have you read the new Excel Bible? <laughs> we we still get the the paperback copies. Uh, if anyone needs any of them from the last ten years, we have we have extras. <laughs> But I think what you might expect of them as people, when that's you know the jokes that we make about them, is that they'd be big nerds with no friends. And I can say, being in you know the prime of my social life, could not have assembled such a group to come celebrate anything for me. So I think it's such a testament to them as people that they're such serious people trying to do big things out in the world, and yet always make time for their friends and always make time for each other. And their social calendar makes me want to crawl into bed and, and never get out for the most social people that I know. Um, and that means they're perfect for each other because my mom's friends are my dad's friends because they love each other so much. My dad's friends are my mom's friends because they love each other so much. <laughs> So it's really special to see that last for 40 yeah. years. Yeah. So please Aww. raise a glass to Pat and Marie for another 40 yeah. years. speeches to follow we did not coordinate i was going to talk about this group here also i'm going to take a little bit of a different angle on that one my mom and dad have been married for 40 years which now that i've been married for seven both feels like an insanely long time and insanely short time i can only imagine what it feels like standing there and it's this blink of an eye meg talked about how many people are here i think what's amazing is looking at this group 
there are some friends like Uncle Mike who gave the best man speech at your wedding. There's brand new friends. There's our friends. There's new family. There's people that you met once at the yacht club. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the best man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a testament to how you lived and evolved. And it, to me, I think in the beginning of a marriage, seeing the evolution of this thing over time and how there were hard times and easy times. And when I was growing up, my dad traveled for work all of the time. And, when and he that's went, why we're still married. And that's why we're still married. <laughs> but to then come back and be in the same house all of the time and survive that, it's it, I mean, like just seeing you go through stages. You, my mom, got your. PhD and you know like went through all of this stuff when one was working really hard and picked up the slack and you both worked really hard and somehow made it happen and then as you've gone through all the different stages your marriage has evolved and grown and now you're together all of the time and somehow you haven't killed yourself I think there was maybe like a little touch and go period <laughs> and then you evolve and now I, I think you're in the best spot that you've maybe ever been in and so I don't know as someone who's starting out in this whole journey seeing you two has been such an unbelievable example of what life can be as Meg said Meg has a lot more energy than I do seeing your social calendar like really makes me throw up <laughs> but you found each other you found someone that you are excited to continue to go out with and continue to spend time with and that is an absolute goal of mine your marriage is a goal of mine and we all could not be particularly all of us me Dan Meg and our significant others and kids could not be more proud or happier that you built this life for us and this life together. So, yeah. congrats to 40 years. Thank you. Yeah.